This is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about how to enter payroll into QuickBooks, the summary version. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session with you so you can review it as often as you like afterwards. Okay, so we're going to take a look at how to enter payroll in the summary form. We've got a video using the exact same payroll information on how to enter it in detail, and this is going to be the one where we show you how to enter it in summary form. At the end of this video, you'll have a link to click on if you want, where you can go watch how to enter the exact same payroll in detailed format, which means very simply entering each individual paycheck, but also understanding how to account for that in terms of the fact that it doesn't come out of your bank account uh, in individual checks. In the summary form, it's a little easier because we're going to enter payroll exactly the way it comes out of your bank account, and there's no other work to do. So what's that look like in QuickBooks? That's the question. And the classic mistake bookkeepers make is they take this whole net pay and they book it as a lump sum to payroll expense. And then they take these net taxes and they book it as a lump sum to the payroll, the employer tax expense, and that's not correct. The correct way to enter it is to enter in the full gross payroll, which in this example is $3,750, and that's the payroll expense. That's the employer's expense. Then within the taxes, there's the employer's share, which is right here. The employer's share of the taxes, the expense on the books is $530 with $0.63 cents in this example. And then you have the liabilities. This is what was taken out of the employee's paychecks, which then has to be sent into the government. So we need to book this properly. In, full de in, in, in some reform even, we still have to book the details. We still have to book the gross pay, the net pay, the liabilities, and the remittance of the uh, withholdings, which includes the remittance of the liabilities and the employer's share of the taxes. So let's see what that looks like in QuickBooks. So I'm going to use the same company file, in fact, where I used and already booked the detailed payroll. So when you, if you choose to download the exercise files, which will be available in my knowledge store by the time you're seeing this, you can, you'll be able to look in QuickBooks and see actually both ways of doing it um, in, in terms of what that looks like in QuickBooks. You'll have the same QuickBooks file and you also have this template which you can use to uh, you know, just kind of take the information from a real payroll report and transfer it to the appropriate places here so that you have a way of getting the information entered very quickly and easily into QuickBooks. So the bottom line is I've got two checks to two payments to record when I'm doing it in summary format. I've got to do the net pay and I've got to do the taxes. Forget about the fees. That's a separate payment and it goes to the payroll fees expense. That's, I'm not even going to bother with that. That's so simple. So let's go to QuickBooks and let's write a check. Okay, now initially it's going to come out of our bank account. And let's say we're doing this payroll. The one I did in the detail was on the 9th. So let's say we're going backwards a week right and we're gonna book this to the payroll company and it's going to be for the net pay thirty three thousand five fifty three so it seems like it should be simple right here's what the mistake bookkeepers make is then they go to payroll expenses and they just book this whole this net amount to gross wages well there's a big problem with that because that's not the right amount the right amount to gross wages is the thirty seven fifty so I'm gonna come here into Excel I copied it, I'm going to paste that number in. And then what's the difference is the 74447, which is your payroll liabilities. Right? And notice it's going to come in as a negative because I have to get from I have to reduce the gross, right? Which means I need a negative number to get from the gross to the net. So that it does actually net out to the right 3,553. Notice here, the employee share of the payroll taxes is 74447. That's what we're going to have to send into the government later, in addition to the employer's share. So before I save this, let's run a balance sheet. So you can see exactly what this looks like. And for that matter, let's run a profit and loss. Because what you're going to see happen once this is posted is, and we've already got the uh, amount in there from the, you know, the, when I entered the detailed payroll, so we're essentially just going to be doubling the payroll here. But you're going to see the 3750 is going to get added in to the gross wages. The 744.47 is going to show up here on the balance sheet in payroll liabilities. And the net pay, the 3,553, is going to be deducted from the bank account here. So let's save it. And sure enough, now my gross wages on the payroll is 7,500, 
the bank account balance is a little lower and my liabilities come in. Now let's enter the other check. It's a lot simpler when you're doing the summary method. The next check is going to be for the 1275.09. And again, it's coming out of our actual bank account for the 1275.09. But here again, that whole amount doesn't apply to any one thing. The first thing we want to do is let's get these payroll liabilities off the books, right? Because that's kind of the easy one now. 744.47. The difference is the 53062. That goes to my taxes. My employer taxes, that's an expense. This amount is just getting rid of a liability. This amount is going to come over here under the profit and loss as an expense. Watch what happens when I save it. Boom. Now my employer taxes just increased. My liabilities go away when I update my balance sheet. And of course, my bank balance now reflects that payment of the 1275. The other thing we always want to double check is we want to come back over here and in this case it's just the payroll liabilities that we have to make sure are zeros out. And notice what happens. I remember we're doing the earlier payroll here. So what happens is I have one page one entry here for all the payroll taxes coming in because I did it in summary. I did it in a lump sum. And then here is the payment for the remittance of the taxes which is this 744.47 is part of the larger total of 1275.09. Right, so this comes in from the uh, summary payroll that I recorded, right? And I just two lines gross wages minus the liabilities comes into the liabilities account. Then I send in the payment to the government, and that zeroes out my liabilities. So I have to make sure that my liabilities always, always, always zero out. If it's not exactly zero, then something's wrong. I have to go back and figure out what's off. I don't care if it's a penny, you still need to fix that because that penny could be the result of any number of things, which could actually mean something much more significant. And especially over time, if it accumulates, it becomes more and more difficult to sort of unravel the mess. So you're better off just making sure that it ties out to the penny, to the, to the number zero at the end of the day when you book your payroll. Check for the link up above if you want to see how to do this in the detailed format. As always, email me, Seth at NerdEnterprises.com if you have any questions. I'm also available for consult. Give me a call at 866-945-8070. I can log in with you, give you the private training, record the session. You'll have that recording to review as many times as you like afterwards. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. And I look forward to seeing you on the web. This is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about how to enter payroll into QuickBooks, the summary version. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session with you so you can review it as often as you like afterwards.